our tutorial Jensen's Alpha Performance Metric. Portfolio performance metrics consist of portfolio expected or realized risk premium by unit of risk. This topic is part of investment portfolio analysis with our course. Feel free to take a look at course curriculum by clicking link at the description box below. This tutorial has an educational and informational purpose and doesn't constitute any type of trading or investment advice. Please read full tutorial disclaimer at the end of this video. Jensen's Alpha consists of estimating asset average realized excess return through the difference between asset average realized return and its theoretically estimated expected return using Capital Asset Pricing Model or CAPM. For full reference, I recommend that you read Michael Jensen, The Performance of Mutual Funds in the Period from 1945 to 1964, published in the Journal of Finance in 1968. As a formula, we have that the asset Jensen's Alpha, or asset average realized excess return, is equal to asset returns mean minus and within brackets we have risk-free rate of return mean plus the asset market beta, which is the linear relationship between the asset risk premium and the market risk premium multiplied by the market returns mean minus the risk-free rate of return mean. Great, so let's go into our studio so that we can study Jensen's alpha with greater detail. Perfect, so here we are within our studio. In this tutorial, we'll be working within our tutorial Jensen's alpha performance metric code file. So the first step within the tutorial is to load its packages. This is done with the library function, and in this tutorial we'll be using performance analytics. So we select the code line there, then we click run or control enter on the keyboard, which is equivalent. So the following step is to create data for Jensen's alpha performance metric calculation. This is done by creating a returns object, which is equal to read.csv, and within it we have the name of the data file, Jensen's alpha performance metric data as a plain text file with .csv or comma separated values and stored within the working directory, comma header equals to true. So we select the code line, then we click run or control enter on the keyboard. So notice that this creates a returns object within the global environment as a data frame. And if we click on the spreadsheet kind of icon, this opens the data for us. We have three columns of data. First dates, dates with a monthly frequency from the beginning of 2007 all the way to the end of 2016, therefore 10 years of data. Then we have SPY.RF, which corresponds to the asset risk premium. The asset, SPY, which is the ETF investment vehicle which intends to replicate the Standard & Poor's 500 index. Therefore, here we have SPY monthly arithmetic returns minus the corresponding mon month risk-free rate of return, therefore the asset risk premium. Then we have mkt.rf, which corresponds to the market risk premium. Therefore, here we have the market portfolio monthly arithmetic returns minus the corresponding month risk free rate of return, therefore the market risk premium. So going back into the code file, the following step is we're going to convert that data frame into an XTS. So we're going to overwrite returns as an XTS or extensible time series. Therefore, we select from the returns object columns two and three with those corresponding risk premiums, the ones for the asset and the other one for the market, comma order by equals as date capital D returns with the first column with those dates. So we select the code line, then click run or control enter on the keyboard. So reopening the data here, we can see the same data as before, but now the dates became its index. So back into the code file, once we have the data ready, we can continue with Jensen's alpha performance metric calculation. So first of all, we're going to do it through a linear regression. So here we have the summary function of LM or linear model, in which first we have from the returns object with the dollar sign, we select SPY.RF or the asset risk premium, Therefore, this corresponds to the dependent or explained variable, which is being explained by, and also from the returns object with the dollar sign, we select mkt.rf, which corresponds to the market risk premium, which is the independent or explanatory variable. So we select the code line there, click run or control enter on the keyboard. And notice that within the console, the results from that corresponding linear regression have been printed. So if we scroll up, we see the corresponding summary of that linear regression with the corresponding formula, 
and specifically we scroll down into the coefficients and specifically within the estimate that coefficient for the intercept that corresponds to Jensen's alpha. So we're going to see another way of doing Jensen's alpha performance metric calculation, which is done using that function, which is CAPM with capitals dot alpha. And within it, we have, first of all, RA, which corresponds to the asset returns, therefore equals to returns object. And with a dollar sign, we get SPY dot RF, which is the asset risk premium, comma RV, which is the benchmark returns, equals to returns object. And with a dollar sign, we get MKT dot RF, which is the market risk premium. Notice that in this function, which we didn't include the risk-free rate of return because it's already been subtracted both within the asset risk premium and the market risk premium. So we select the code line there and we click run or control enter on the keyboard. And notice here within the console that the corresponding Jensen's alpha calculation has been printed right here using capm.alpha function and we see that this result is the same as the one we obtained within the linear regression with that corresponding intercept coefficient or estimate. Excellent. So now that we finished studying Jensen's alpha performance metric, let's go back into the slides. And as mentioned previously, this tutorial has an educational and informational purpose and doesn't constitute any type of trading or investment advice. Please, pause the video now so you can read the full tutorial disclaimer. Okay, so with this, we finish this tutorial. Thank you for watching.